and welcome to the Shiny Headed Historian Podcast. I'm your host, the Shiny Headed Historian, and I'm here to take you on a journey through history. Today we're going to be discussing the United States' interaction with the world, specifically focusing on ethnocentrism, racism, missionaries, and charity, increased foreign trade, and the acquisition of Alaska and the annexation of Hawaii and the acquisition of foreign markets and raw materials. So sit back and join me as we explore the past and discover how it shaped the world we live in today. In the early days of the United States, the country was heavily influenced by ethnocentrism and racism. The belief that one's own culture and race were superior to others was prevalent. And it was reflected in the country's foreign policy or how we deal with and treat other countries. Missionaries and charity organizations also played a significant role in shaping United States foreign policy as they sought to spread Christianity and provide aid to other countries. As the United States began to industrialize and grow in economic power, it began to look towards foreign markets for trade. The country's increased foreign trade led to the creation of new markets for American goods, and the acquisition of valuable resources from other countries. This increased foreign trade had significant impact on the United States foreign policy as the country began to take a more assertive role in the world. In 1867, the United States acquired Alaska from Russia in what was known as the Alaska Purchase. This acquisition opened up new opportunities for the United States, as the territory was rich in natural resources such as gold, oil, and timber, or wood. In 1898, the United States annexed Hawaii, which was already a territory of the United States, and had a strong economic and strategic importance for the country. The reason Hawaii was so important is because its location was approximately halfway between the United States and Asia. So it made it a very important spot to stop and reprovision and refuel your ships on their way to Asia. It also gave us a supply of other natural resources such as cacao, bananas, coffee, and other things that other people might want. As was mentioned before, Hawaii is located approximately halfway between the United States and Asia, which would make it a very important location for us to keep military, i.e. our Navy, and that will become very important during World War II. The United States' acquisition of Alaska and the annexation of Hawaii were not the only examples of the United States' pursuit of foreign markets and raw materials. Throughout history, the United States has sought to expand its economic and strategic influence around the world by acquiring resources and establishing markets for American goods. This has often been done through military force, and it has had a significant impact on the country's foreign policy and relationship with other nations. Thanks for joining me on this journey through history. I hope you've gained a deeper knowledge and understanding of how the factors that we've discussed have shaped the world we live in today. Join us next time on the Shiny Headed Historian Podcast, where we will be diving into another fascinating topic from history. Thanks for listening.